Okay, Randy Walker here at the 2023 U.S. Open Tennis Championships and want to talk a little bit about our Marty Fish Children's Foundation Tennis Championships in Vero Beach, Florida because tonight at the U.S. Open there are two former players from our tournament playing in the men's quarterfinals. It's Francis TFO who played in our event in 2014 playing against Ben Shelton, who was a participant in our event in 2021. And that's one of the great things about our tournament in Vero Beach, which is a $15,000 entry level ITF World Tennis Tour USTA Pro Circuit event, is you can see these stars when they're just starting their pro career. And you get to hang out with them and talk to them and watch them play and display their amazing talents in such an intimate setting. You're right there in the front row, etc. You don't have to spend $8,000 for a courtside seat here at Arthur Ashe Stadium. You can say that you saw them when they were young players. So uh, pretty much every year at the U.S. Open, you have a slew of players who have played in our uh, tournament. You know, we also had Ethan Quinn, who was our 2000. 22 singles runner-up. He won the NCAA championships, singles championship for the University of Georgia. He got a major all wild card. He was playing in singles, doubles, and mixed. Uh, you know, Dennis Shapovalov, uh, 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 Tommy Paul, um, uh, who was an Australian Open semifinalist this year, and he reached the round of, six, round of 16 this year. He got earned his first ever ATP point in our uh, event in 2014. So uh, just a reminder, late all, late, late April, uh, Vero Beach, Florida, you can come out, support the Marty Fish Children's Foundation, and see these future big name players before they're playing uh, in the big house here in Arthur Ashe Stadium. So martyfishchildrensfoundation.org, late April, Vero Beach, Florida, put it on your calendar, and you can come back here late August, early September, and watch them play at the U.S. Open.